Hey, I'm Michelle. These are my two littles, Maylee and Maggie, and my husband, Austin. I'm a professional photographer turned newbie vlogger with a passion for finding all the new and great mom products. This mom thing definitely requires a village, so let's do this together. Here we go. Welcome to my first vlog. I'm Michelle and this yeah. is Maggie. We are going to be talking about the Doc Top and the Snuggle Me today. So we're going to start out with similarities between the two. They are obviously both the type of lounger. They are specifically for the same age range, zero to eight months, zero to nine months, more or less. We used our Snuggle Me for like supervised naps pretty regularly. And I know a lot of people who use the Doc Top for co-sleeping because it just creates an extra barrier between like you and the baby. Um, otherwise, it's meant for things like around the house, playtime, tummy time. Uh, I've seen people use it for like a breastfeeding pillow, kind of whatever you want. These are not recommended for unsupervised sleep. They are not meant to go in a crib. They're not meant to go in a bassinet. They are meant for supervised using, usage only. Um, anyways, okay, so let's talk about the differences between the two. So first, let's talk about the dock -a top So with the dock -a top the first things you'll notice are pretty obvious. The dock top has these on the sides, and they are for you to add like a play bar in to make it more of like a play environment. It does still have the normal handles, which you have a handle on the side, and then you also have a handle on the top right here, which is super nice. I do wish the Snuggle Me had ha handles. The other thing that is a big difference about the two that the dock top has is the dock top opens on the bottom um, so their feet can come out of it and it just clips shut initially. Your next big difference is going to be this pad here on the bottom. The dock top you'll notice is completely flat top to bottom. It's a flat surface and the pad provides padding underneath it. So that means wherever you go, whatever surface you put the baby on, you're going to have padding underneath you, which is nice. The other major difference with the dock top is that it is not as snuggled in, for lack of a better word. There is a little bit of space depending on how big your baby is. So while they are in like a confined space, they're not going to feel hugged, in my opinion. The other major difference is the cover is tricky to get on and off, which that's the point. Um, it's meant to be stiff, but it is hard to get on and off. So if you're washing it a lot, it can get kind of annoying. Oh, Maggie. The one great thing about the Dock Top that I think is kind of one of their big, um, I don't know, selling points is the material is made with like a certified microclimate so it doesn't harbor heat so it prevents overheating so like whatever the temperature of the room is that's what your temperature of your baby is going to feel they're not going to feel extra hot because they're in this enclosed space so that is, that is one thing to think about depending on the climate you're living in or how warm you keep your house so um let's switch and talk about the snuggle me sorry one more thing with the dock top the dock top price point is right around 200 dollars just for the lounger and a cover that's not to mention any like accessories you want to add on to that so keep that in mind switching over to the snuggle me the snuggle me price point is between 100 and 150 140 depending on which one you get or if you get it with like a carrier bag anything like that so the big major differences though with the snuggle me first of all the cover i'm going to take this off because i want to show you the inside uh, the cover is really easy to remove, so I'm actually going to put Maggie down so I can take this off. Okay, so the cover is so easy to take off on this. You literally just pull it off like a pillowcase, and then you wash it, and that's it. <laughs> so that was a big selling point for me, easy to remove cover. Um, the next thing that is patented about this that makes this its own unique lounger is the center of it is actually 
not flat on one side. It's a suspended center. So when you lay the child in it, so here I'll show you. It, the sides actually hug in to the baby as the baby like flattens out the bottom. Hi, he's so fun to be you, huh? Um, so the sides are really hugging her in. Huh, you like to be hugged? The next difference though is that it doesn't have padding in the center. So whatever surface I lay her on is the surface that I get. That means if I lay her on a hardwood floor, then she's gonna feel like she's laying on a hardwood floor with a blanket. <laughs> Um, it does not have any handles or anything like that. It does have some extra padding right where the head should be. So that helps a little bit, but not much. We went with the organic, the Snuggle Organic. There's three different types. We liked the organic just because um, everything was the highest quality organic certified. Everything's made in the U.S., which I also am a big like lover slash supporter of made in the US, like materials, all that kind of stuff, US. So I love that about this. This is, a, the Dokuta is a Swedish brand, um, so they're made in Europe, which is great too, but you know, USA made. So in the end, the reason we chose the Snuggle Me over the Dokuta, we had two main reasons. The first reason was obviously price. The Snuggle Me is almost half the price. We got ours, it was $99 when we ordered it from Amazon because we didn't need the travel bag. The other reason is I really wanted the um, hugged feel, which the Dokata I don't think provides the same way that the Snuggle Me provides. And that's what I was looking for. I wanted to be able to set Maggie down and have her feel like, oh, you're just taking your shoes off? And have her feel like she was being held, like that she was being snuggled by me. Um, it gave me a little bit more freedom to do things like shower <laughs> or the dishes. So um, that's specifically what we were looking for. We used our Snuggle Me for supervised naps and I used it again the first couple weeks a ton. I would just pick it up, take it wherever I was going, set it down and lay Maggie in. We didn't use this product for very long. We are not currently using this. Maggie is six and a half months and we have, um, we're completely done with it. We do sleep train earlier than I think the average family does. So that could have, oh, speaking of sleeping. <laughs> so that could have something to do with it. We went from her sleeping through the night and using like by herself in her crib without this. And then for nap time, she would use this for supervised naps because she was a champ at sleeping through the night, but they don't get into quite as deep of a sleep during naps. And so she struggled a lot with that. And this was like a lifesaver because it helped her get sleep so she wasn't getting overtired. Um, and even with all that, Maggie was a really great baby. Like she wanted to learn how to sleep. So for us, this was great to have, but I would say it was a luxury item. It was not a necessity. We could have lived without it. However, if your baby is not a great sleeper or you don't sleep train till later and she's, or he doesn't nap during the day, let's say, maybe he sleeps through the night, but he gets overtired because he's not sleeping during the day. This is a great option to help with that. Again, though, I will say all of the safety recommendations and requirements are on both of the websites. So please check out the websites. The Docket Talk specifically has a product, which the Snuggle Me just released theirs too. When they are older, it is made to go in the crib. So as you transition from like nine months up, you can put the, the bigger Docket Talk in their crib for sleeping. Are you so tired? Are ready for bed? Okay, let's put you to sleep. So just to wrap up, we preferred the Snuggle Me over the Docket Talk mostly because we were looking for something that was more of a hugged feeling and we do not co-sleep. I think if we co-slept we might have opted for the Jocketa because it is firmer on the sides I think um, and gives them a little bit of space to kind of roll around and like find a position they're comfortable in, the baby. Sorry. <laughs> so if we did co-sleep I think the Jocketa would have been a game changer. 
However, we did not co-sleep and we were using it strictly for lounging and supervised naps. And I feel like the Snuggle Me just performs better for that because it does hold them in and give them that snuggle sensation. Oh, hi, Stud. Oh, hi. You say hi to everybody? Hi, oh, these are my dogs. <laughs> They'll probably make appearances in future videos. Huh. This is Stud and this is Kiko. And they are big fans of the lounger because they think they're their beds. So, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this was helpful. And comment below if you have any other questions or comments about your Dr. Tot or Snuggle Me. What did you love about it? Did you feel like it was a required piece of baby registry item? Anyways, see you next week.